The Zeta token was recently launched on both CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko and this could signal that the Zeta chain airdrop will be coming soon. If you have not participated yet in this testnet, there's still an opportunity for you to do so. And today I'll be showing you the simple steps that you can perform for free as well as some bonus tasks that could increase your allocation of the Zeta token. Zeta chain is a cross-chain protocol that allows you to swap your tokens or NFTs from one chain to another. So it's somewhat similar to the likes of Layer 0 but it's currently still on its testnet so all of the activities that you perform are free. On its website, the Zeta Swap is the only feature that's available right now. So that would be the main one that we'll be interacting with today. So the main way that we can receive an allocation of the Zeta tokens is by earning these Zeta points. And most likely, it will be based on your ranking on this leaderboard that will determine the amount of Zeta tokens that you are allocated. There are quite a few ways that you can earn these Zeta points. And the main one that you'll be able to do is to perform one weekly transaction on the swap. We are only able to earn 7,000 points. And if you'd like to earn even more Zeta points, points, you can use your unique referral code which is found here and this will allow you to earn 5,000 points for every new member that you invited. If you'd like to get started with Zeta Chain, you can use my referral link which can be found in the description below. Zeta Chain allows us to perform a cross-chain swap across these four different networks including Goalie, the BNB testnet and both the Polygon and Bitcoin testnets. The problem is that right now Goalie testnet is extremely congested because there are a lot of different testnet networks that require you to bridge your funds from Goalie to those specific networks. So I would highly recommend that you avoid the Goalie testnet altogether when you're performing your swaps on Zeta Chain. The ones that I would recommend would be to use the BSC and Polygon testnets as both of them can be added to your MetaMask wallet. For this swap feature on Zeta Chain, you can swap both the native token as well as the Zeta token across these different networks. Currently, the swap feature is disabled as Zeta Chain mentioned that they are upgrading their smart contracts. At the time of recording, it's not possible to perform a swap. So you may want to go back to this page from time to time and you can perform a swap once it is active again. If you want to get these Zeta tokens on either network, there are two ways that you can do so. And the first one is by going to the Zeta faucet. However, this was the mistake that I kept on making because by default, my MetaMask wallet was connected to the Goalie testnet. So this means that whenever I click on this function to request some assets, these Zeta tokens will be sent over on the Goalie testnet. If you'd like to send your funds over to the other testnets, you need to go to this button here and then switch to either the BSC or Polygon and then you get the Zeta tokens on those networks where the gas fees are much cheaper. There's actually another way that you can get your Zeta tokens and this is by going to the Zeta Faucet channel on Zeta Chain's Discord. There are a few different networks where you can receive Zeta on using this faucet which will be the three main ones that we have on the Zeta Chain website as well as both the Kitten testnet and Zeta Chain's very own testnet. So the very first time that you are requesting assets from this faucet, I would highly recommend that you get your Zeta tokens on the Zeta Chain network. So this can be done by tapping this command Zeta Faucet Drip, your wallet address, and at the end you specify the network, which in this case is Zeta Chain. So this is something that I'll talk more about later on in this video to explain why you should get your Zeta tokens on Zeta Chain instead of the other test nets. After you've gotten your test net tokens on Zeta Chain, you can request for these tokens again on either the Polygon or BSC test nets 24 hours after your first request. I would also recommend that you get them on the Polygon network because you will need a minimum of three Zeta tokens to swap over to the BSC test net. Another thing to note is that the exchange rate is actually quite low where you get lesser Zeta tokens on the BSC testnet as compared to the Polygon testnet. When you perform the swap, you need to pay for this transaction using either the testnet Matic or testnet BNB. If you're looking to get any of those tokens, there's actually quite an easy way for you to do so using the Coinbase wallet. And I'll leave a link to that video that I did in the description below. So this will be the very first action that we need to do every week. And I would suggest that you set a reminder so that you remember to perform this swap and earn some points every week. Apart from that, you can refer your friends to earn even more points. Once you have completed the various tasks on Zeta Chain, you can try to earn these on-chain achievement tokens on the Galaxy platform. Some of them are quite easy where you just need to follow them on Twitter and join their Discord. But somehow I was able to claim all of these four different tokens even though I did not do an Omnichain BTC swap before. So I believe that so long as you perform one swap using Zeta Chain, you should be able to claim all of these four different OATs. These two OATs are the Zeta Assimilator Quest and you will need to answer a quiz to be able to claim this OAT. I previously created an airdrop tracker that keeps track of all of the different networks and tokens that I'm keeping an eye out for. 
and Zeta Chain is one of them where I've added a detailed description on how to carry out the task to qualify for their airdrop. So I have this section here which includes the quiz answers for both the Zeta Assimilated 101 and 102 tokens. And if you'd like to get your hands on this, all you need to do is to subscribe to my Substack newsletter and you should receive the link to this website. I will also send out a weekly update that summarizes all of the different activities that I did to qualify for the various airdrops. So do keep a lookout for my email every Sunday. Zeta Chain also has their own Zili Quest board and similar to other projects, you can perform various tasks like following all of their socials to earn some EXP and hopefully this will also help you to increase your allocation for the Zeta token. Once you have performed all of these tasks, you can also go to Zeta Chain's guild to get all of the various Discord roles where all of these three here can be done by collecting all of the different Galaxy OATs. So all of these steps will be important in showing to Zeta Chain that you are an early adopter of the network, which could also give you a higher allocation of the token. So you may be wondering why I asked you to claim your Zeta tokens on the Zeta Chain testnet for the very first time. And this is because we need to win this entry pass on the Zeta Chain network. This is somewhat similar to the likes of the Galaxy Passport or the Binance account bound token, where it sort of acts as a proof that you are a human user. And this will differentiate you from from all the various bot users that are out there as one person could have created multiple wallets to participate in this campaign. So we need to connect our MetaMask wallet to this website and it will also prompt you to add the Zeta Chain testnet if you haven't done so. After that, you can click on here to mint your entry pass and this will cost you some gas fees in the form of the Zeta token. Once you have minted this NFT, the number here should be changed into 1. And the next step that you need to do is to go to Asset Pay's Zili Quest board and then post a screenshot on the test that pass channel. This step can be found on my blog post on Mirror where I'll show you the entire step-by-step -step guide on how to qualify for this airdrop. I will constantly update this Mirror blog whenever there are any new airdrops that you can qualify for and some of them just require a very simple task. And you can subscribe to my blog to receive live updates whenever I post any new mini airdrop guides. Now that you have some Zeta tokens on the Zeta Chain testnet, there's actually this decentralized exchange known as Tower Swap that has already been launched on Zeta Chain. So if you have used Pancake Swap before, the user interface is actually extremely similar. And right now, what we can do is to swap our Zeta tokens into the Tower Swap token on this decentralized exchange. After you have swapped, you can then add these tokens as liquidity into the Zeta TWST pool. And I've also published a post on the Tower Swap guide. And I'll guide you through step by step on how to perform all of these actions. Since you need to use the Zeta token to pay for gas fees, I'll suggest that you do not swap all of your Zeta tokens to the TWST token and you leave some behind so that you can process all of these transactions. While I was editing this video, I came across another decentralized application that you can interact with on the Zeta Chain network. So this is known as OmniC and it recently launched on the Zeta Chain testnet. And one of the interesting things about this application is that it uses the layer zero messaging protocol to bridge your NFTs across all of these different networks. I actually covered this OmniC protocol in my layer zero video and I initially thought that it was only possible for you to mint your collection on the Ethereum network. So my wallet was actually connected to the Zeta Chain testnet and this allowed me to to mint my NFTs on this network instead of the Ethereum network. So this really helps to save a lot of gas fees. I don't really like the user interface of this application, but what you can do is to click on create and then just make sure that you are connected to the Zeta Chain testnet. This will allow you to create a collection of NFTs. So we can change the name of our collection here and you can follow these hints as well where it tells us to set background image. You can just add some random files as your background image as well as the cover for the collection. I can click here to add my NFTs or I can click on this button. Either one would work. And you can also set the mint price if you want to. But this is totally optional and you can keep it as a free mint as well. So under the description, you can just add some random stuff. Maybe you can even use ChatGPT to type some things. I can choose to add some other information to your NFT collection as well. Once you have entered all of the different settings, you can click on this launch button and your files will then be uploaded to IPFS. Similar to Tower Swap, we will need to have some Zeta tokens on the Zeta Chain network to pay for the gas fees on this network. So the good thing is that these gas fees are extremely cheap. So you only need a small amount of Zeta on this network. So after you have confirmed the transaction, you may need to wait a while until Omisi creates your collection. These are some of the random collections that I've already created and I'll leave links to them in the description below if you're interested in minting any of them. So you can click on these collections and you can click on the main button and this may also count as an interaction with a smart contract on the Zeta Chain network and all of these different testnet actions could also help you 
to qualify for the Zeta Chain airdrop. Another cross-chain messaging protocol is known as Layer Zero, and this could be one of the biggest airdrops yet, as it has reached a 3 billion valuation with its latest funding round. Most of the projects that are on this protocol are already on its mainnet version, but I would believe that the return of investment could potentially be very high. My video here explains the strategy that I did to qualify for this airdrop. 